feeling stuck in tutorials but still don't know how to build real projects? Well, you are not alone. Most students learn syntax, never learn how to use it in actual projects. In this video, I will take you through a step-by-step -step roadmap from a simple command line application to full-fledged resume-worthy projects. Let's learn how to build your project and your portfolio one project at a time. Hi, I'm Dr. Amar Panchal, educator, career mentor and your guide to learning coding the right way. Today, I'm giving you a clear project-based learning path that not only makes you a better coder, but builds your portfolio and gets you job ready. So grab a notebook and let's start from the very beginning. At the beginner level, you don't need fancy frameworks or big data. You need to master logic, input output and how to structure your code. Here is a five simple command line projects that will help you to build your foundation. Number one, number guessing gap. A very simple program, a computer generates a number, you need to guess it. It will tell you whether it is too high, too low. It's great for learning loops, random number and user input. Second, to-do list. Build your own task manager. You will use array, list to store tasks and basic options like add, view and delete. Third, simple calculator. Perform basic operation. This teaches you how to organize functions, handle input and input validation. Number four, quiz app. Ask multiple choice question, check user's answer and show a score. A great project to practice conditional, logical and scrolling system. Fifth, unit converter. Convert temperature, weight or length units. This teaches you arithmetic logic and user driven interaction. If you are new to coding, these projects will build your confidence and logical thinking. The next step is learning how to organize your code using OOP and handle more complex data like string and lists. First type project, bank account manager. Use classes to create accounts, handle deposit, withdrawal, show balance and a classic object-oriented project to implement. Second, library management system. Track books, issue and return dates and manage members. Learn to build relationship between projects and objects. Third, my favorite, password strength checker. Take a string, analyze it. Great use case for string manipulation and logic building. Fourth, student report generator. Input marks, calculate total, find average and grades. Add a support for multiple students. Fifth, the famous tic-tac-toe. Create a two-player or AI-based game using 2D array, learn control flow, board updates, win detection. At this stage, students should focus on writing clean and reusable code using functions and classes. Now it is time to go visual. Build GUI-based project helps you to understand event-driven and programming and user interface. So first, login form, the most common. Validate username and password. Use GUI input field. Learn basic authentication and logic. Second, GUI calculator. Same old calculator, but now with buttons. You will learn layout design and event handling. Third, digital clock. A real-time clock that updates every second. Introduces timer and label update. Fourth, text editor. Create, save and open files. Use text widget and menus. Real world file handling is the best. Fifth, image viewer. Browse and open local images. Learn to use image libraries and basic navigation controls. Now, these are the projects where coder or encoding meets user experience. Perfect for Python's TK Enter, Java Swing or even for HTML, CSS, JS. These are portfolio building projects. Each one combines logic, data handling 
and practical use cases. Perfect for interview and internships. First, expense tracker. Well, track daily expenses, categorize them, maybe even visualize them using graph. Add data saving with JSON or CSV. Second, blob CMS. Well, create a blogging platform, write posts, edit them, delete and store in files. Great for file handling and string formatting. Third, personal portfolio generator. Input your skill and it generates a full HTML portfolio. Learn to use templates and automate code generation. Fourth, LAN chat application. Build local chat app using Socket for a great understanding of networking, client and server logic. Fifth, flashcard quiz app. Create a flashcards and quiz yourself. Excellent for learning state management and randomization. Well, these are your interview story projects. You can talk about them, show your code and explain your logic. Okay, these are your top tab projects, the kind that gets your attention on GitHub and in interviews. First, e-commerce inventory system, manage stock, orders, admin access, use GUI or web interfaces with database, add cart, filter and export options. Second, job application tracker, track jobs you applied to, resume use, interview schedule, Use database plus visual dashboard. Great. Third, online quiz platform. User can log in, take time questions, view results. Admin can upload question. Full code system with score analytics. Fourth, AI resume analyzer. Upload resume and give its feedback based on job keywords given. Use NLP libraries or regex. Fifth, social media feed app. Build a micro version of Twitter. Post update like comment, etc. Add a basic authentication and a database. Pick one of these as your major project. Write a blog, post about it, host it, show it in your interviews. Now you don't need to wonder what project should I build. You have got a project roadmap from beginner to advance. Start where you are. Build something small, add one feature at a time and don't just code. Explain what you built on LinkedIn or GitHub. That is how you build your authority and credibility. Download the full project list in the description below. If you want mentorship, real life project review and a learning plan, connect to us. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Comment below which project will you build first. Until next time, keep building, keep growing.